Tak a já bych teď chtěla pozvat naše první hosty, kteří přijeli z Tel Avivu z Izraele a now I will switch to English. I would like to welcome Michal and Asaf from the agency Webson who will talk about their experience on their market and how they talk to their clients and how they sell Google AdWords. So, Michael. Sorry. Hi. Um, I'll do the first part, the, like the first 20 minutes, and then Michael, Miki, my partner, will do the other half. Uh, my name is Asaf, as Martina introduced me, and I'm going to tell you about our story, WebSEM, with the Google Cage uh, in Israel. Before I'll continue with our story, I'd just like to know more about you. So how many of you guys are already GCP, Google Certified Partners? Just raise your hands. Okay, I see quite a lot of you. And how many of you were web designers or web developers in the past? Well, I see most of you, like 50, 55%. So when we started a few years ago, uh, we were web design company as well. And in the, after we met the Engage program, we slowly shifted and redirected our goals and you will see more about it in my story. So this is how WebSEM, or at the time we were called WebDiv, was in between 2006 and 2008. As you can see, we were branded as WebDiv and our main focus was web design, obviously. We were only two people at the time. You can see my picture here and Mickey's picture as well. Uh, the, the thing is that our average customer lifetime value, CLV as you can see up there, was about $1,500, which was obviously the price of the website plus the hosting. And because of that, about 85 or even 90% of our income came from new clients. That meant that if we had a weak month that we didn't sold a website at all, it meant that we could finish the month without having even, even one dollar in our pockets. And we were really dependent on new clients. And as you can see in here, after the Engage program, between 2009 and 2012, this is how our company looks like right now. We are branded as WebSEM. Our main focus is search engine marketing. Google AdWords is about 95% of the search engines uh, in Israel, so it's really strong. And as you can see, our customer lifetime value grew in more than 500% to more than $9,000. We have more than 400 clients that pay for us each month, and that makes our business really stable. We know how much money we will earn next month and the, the month after that, it's really easy for us to predict it because almost 90% of our income <coughs> comes from our existing clients that pays us the retainer fee. And as you can see here, we didn't have enough space for all the employees' pictures. You can see them in our website, but we are now 41 employees and that means that Mickey and I can travel the world and come and tell you about our stories. We've been to Africa, and we've been to Athens, and we've been to Portugal, and we, we really like telling and sharing our story, especially with agencies abroad, because we're not competitors, and we'd like to help you, of course. So, how did it happen? In 2009, we went to the first Engage event in the world. It was in Tel Aviv, in Israel, and what happened there is that we got mainly two things, and I'm sure you got it as well in your first Engage uh, event that you went to. I heard it called Google Point in here, right? So the first thing that we got is that Google gave us coupons. It was $50 coupons. I think you get a bit more even. And they gave us the knowledge and the tips how to manage AdWords campaign properly. We had several sessions and they gave us really good tips. And the, the second thing that we got, and the insights that we got in the Engage event, was that we can actually make money out of it. And instead of just selling 
a website to our potential clients and then tell them goodbye and don't see them again until next year when you need to pay again for the hosting, we can make more money out of him in the meanwhile. We can, what, what they call, squeeze the lemon uh, better. And I hope in translation you, you get it right. <laughs> anyway, I, I remember that day, it was at the beginning of 2009, in January, and I remember that Mickey and I were outside of the event and we were talking to each other and we said that we must go for it. I mean, they had a special promotion and they said that the first company that would reach 30 clients would get a 40-inch screen for the computer or something like that, branded with Google. But that wasn't the goal for us. What we wanted to do is to really get more clients and to get some recognition from Google and to really become a success story because they said this is a pilot event, we want to, to go globally, we want it to work, and we want it to be the success story, Mickey and I. And as we were outside of the event and when we went down in the elevator, we said we must call each and one of our clients. We sold about 80 websites at the time. And we decided to call each one of them and offer them the Google AdWords and to promote the Google AdWords for them. So we called each one of our clients and we told them we have a coupon with $50. At first they were really suspicious because usually when Mickey or I called them, the, it was to get money out of them. It was for re -host, for get payment for the hosting because we didn't have too much uh, connection with them besides asking for money. And at that specific point we told them we want to bring you money. We have $50, we want to give it to you. And they were suspicious, as I said, but then we told them, don't worry, it's not our money, it's Google's money, they, they have enough, and they want to give some away for the 2009, for the new year. And we gave them the opportunity to choose between three plans. The first one, just take the $50, you can do with it whatever you want, you don't have to to give us anything, that's the first option. The second option was you can get the $50, plus you can come to our offices and get free training. You'll get that training for absolutely free. And the third option was get the $50 coupon and we will open the campaign for you and open the ads and the, and the, and the keywords and all that stuff and you'll get 14 days of management for those $50. We'll split the budget and you will see what you get out of it. And most of them, because people in Israel are very lazy, chose this option because they just don't need to do anything. And we actually opened the campaign for them. We talked in the, in the first week after the event, we talked to each one of our client. And after we set up uh, about 25 or close to 30 campaigns, we called them again because 14 days were over and we wanted to know how it's going on for them. And some of them said, can you design a banner for us? Because we told them about the Google Display Network and they wanted to, to buy a banner to advertise with image ads or uh, flash ads. And some of them, those who chose training, said, can you teach us more? We had like a one hour session, but we would like to hear more about how we can use Google AdWords. And some of them said, can you just continue to do what you did? Because we got some phone calls, and until now my website was really nice, but most of the people that went inside my website, that's what the customer said, were me and my wife and maybe my father and my son, but not really potential clients. And this is the first time that Real people are entering my sites and actually asking to get my services. They want to buy my products. They want me to work for them. And can you continue doing that? And then we tell them, told them that of course we can. And that's when we started to make money out of it. We will show you our business model later. Mickey will explain a lot about it. But before that, I want to show you that Google AdWords really helped our clients and. That's the first thing that this is very important because it will only help you 
if it would work for your clients. No one would like to pay for Google AdWords if it, if it doesn't get anything out of it back. So this is one of our case studies from the pilot event that we attended to, and it became a really, really big success story in Israel. They had some uh, things about it in the newspapers and stuff. And the nice thing about this business is that it was a complete new business. I mean, when they started to work with us, they didn't ha have even one client, and they just built the website with us, and we started the AdWords campaign for them. It's a company called Nova Project, and their main business is renovation and mobile houses. You know what mobile houses? It's like mobile phone, but the houses. <laughs> so what, what, they, what, what they did in the pilot event is that they, after the 14 days trial, we set a budget of $750 for each month, and at the very first month, they got approximately 1,000 clicks that generated for them more than 100 leads. And they, they just knew that all the leads that they got were from our campaign because they were a completely new business. They didn't get any phone calls from existing clients or stuff like that. So whenever they got a phone call, they just wrote it down on an Excel or something like that so they could know how many leads they got. And at that very same month, they closed three deals of mobile houses and one container, and the sum of it was more than $18,000. And they still had eight deals under negotiation, and if I remember correctly, they closed two of them in the following month. But what this slide shows is that the ROI, the return on investment, is really immediate. I mean, you spend $750 and you get almost 10 times of the amount at the very same month, and that's absolutely amazing. This is pretty unique, but with most of the clients that we worked with on the, on the pilot event, they had similar cases, and it's really good. And it doesn't only help our clients, it, it would actually help us as well to gain more money, to, to make more money. And this is the packages that we offer now. Uh, we have the consultation, we have full service. Within the full service, we now, we didn't in the past, but we now charge a setup fee and a monthly fee for the management. Uh, most of the companies in Israel, and we are as well, get uh, the money pays directly to Google. I mean, we use the client's credit card and put it inside the AdWords campaign, and we get only for the management fee and for the setup fee. Mickey will talk about it with more details, so I will go over it quickly. Of course, that we have other services such as banners and landing pages and the hosting, and the, th the thing is that since we started working with Google AdWords, our clients wanted more services. I mean, because of the Google Display Networks and because landing pages works great with AdWords, we could upsell and sell more things to our existing clients and to the clients that used Google AdWords. Um, in the first three months that followed the event, <coughs> this is the income that we got. It's not only this, there, are, there is more. But we had, on average, in the first three months, 30 pa 35 paying customers each month with an average income of $140 for the management fee. As you can see here, it's lower than the minimum average, than the minimum, uh, I'll go back to that, than the minimum management fee that we charge now. But when we started, we were cheaper, of course. And as we got more and more satisfied clients, we could raise the prices and we could charge the setup fee because we told them you can talk to our 100 satisfied clients, you can talk to our 200 satisfied clients, and now we, ho we have more than 400 satisfied clients, and they help us sell our, our business as well. And from those 35 
paying customers uh, at the first three months, we got a monthly retainer of almost $5,000. Plus, we got more money from upsales to our existing clients. And that sums up to more than $3,000. And together, it's more than $8,000. And that was a really, really, really good experience for Michael and me. Because, because we used to chase after new clients. And if most of you, or at least half of you, sold websites in the past, you know how much hard it is to work with a potential client that doesn't know you and you need to chase after him and explain who you are and why he should work with you and not with a 16 years old boy or something like that. And when you work with your existing clients and you, as I said before, squeeze the lemon out of them, it's much more fun work. You work with people that know you and you even make a monthly income that is much higher than selling two websites, three websites, or four websites at one month. In this slide, and I really like this slide and I really like this kind of a business model, we can really predict and know how much money we will make this month. I mean, I know almost exactly how much money we will make in April 2012 this month, even before we started the month and I can understand or predict how much money we'll make this following month. And what, what you see here, the, the, red, the red part is the most important <coughs> one. This is the AdWords management fee. This is the money that we make from our existing client as a retainer. And as you can see in September, in the most, most years, and in this very specific year, September was even longer for us, it's the holiday season in Israel. We have the, the Hebrew New Year, and we have uh, an, an additional holiday the following, the following week. And this is a very low month for us with gaining new clients, because everyone are on holiday, and before the holiday they, sell, they tell us, talk us after the holiday, and after the holidays they still, you know, in a hangover or something like that. So, this is the weakest, the weakest month for us, but we still have our majority of clients that actually continue to pay with us. And the red part is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger each month. Even in the holiday season, the red part is getting bigger and bigger. And that's our, this is our value of the company and this is where we gain most of our money. And customer lifetime value is something really important because if you compare how much money you gain from a customer in our old company in WebDiz, which was basically selling them the website and maybe gaining from hosting each year, in our new company in WebSim, since we started bringing or selling SEM services, most of our money comes from the Edwards management fee. We take Edwards setup fee as well. People want to buy landing pages. People want to get more services. We sell banner packs. I don't want to expand more about it because this is Mickey's part. But this is the biggest difference. I mean, how much you can make from a client that comes to you and gets services from you. Well, that's it. We will get to Mickey now, and I'm sure we will give you some very helpful insights. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Asaf. So, uh, hello, everybody. I'm Michael. Mickey, Michael, it's the same. You can call me however you want. So, I'll explain a little bit more about our business model or in general how you can be the next uh, success story. And believe me, it's, uh, it's worth it. So, Let's, let's start with how Google AdWords can be my own money-making machine, okay? First, first of all, you have to make the decision. So it's, I know it sounds a cliche, but you have to make a decision and you have to set yourself goals, okay? Because if you don't have goals, then probably you won't go anywhere. And a few examples for, for goals might be gaining 
five to ten new clients in the next quarter or uh, upsell your existing clients if you build many websites so far um, you can you can uh, get a certain income every month in the next quarter or or uh, ten percent of your current clients get them on on Google AdWords you have to make uh, your decision and you have to set goals and don't be afraid to aim high the worst case you will hit in the middle but don't be afraid to aim high it's very very important and uh, the next important thing is you should become Google AdWords expert or the better word I, I love better is uh, uh, AdWords guru okay invest on, on yourself on your education educate yourself read books okay go to seminars uh, read some material online okay read the weekly updates you get from Google do, do you read those do you get weekly updates great a any one of you heard about uh, Perry Marshall or uh, Google Cash Chris Comerter you know these books okay guys read books and get yourself educated and another thing which is very very important let the whole world know that you are an AdWords guru guru okay when you go go to a seminar okay take pictures of yourself like a is doing right now Asaf, take a picture of me okay and put it on your Facebook profile okay open a Google Plus page okay let the whole world know that you are the master at everything related to Google okay people love Google and people need the, your uh, your guidance okay need people uh, advertiser looking for people who know what they're doing on Google okay or on search engines uh, and in general so invest on your education become a master and let the whole world know that you are a master okay a guru what's up what's up Thanks, good. <clears throat> okay let's talk about the audience about the kind of clients that you want to work with okay I'm not going to get into all kinds of industries uh, and, uh, and categories but I would like to uh, differentiate the clients by their size okay we have those big almighty mega corporation or enterprises right we all know them we have the small medium businesses and we also have the micro businesses like usually I, I used to call them the one-man show okay like a lawyer or a interior designer okay let's see the difference between each one of them and in general generally we suggest to focus on the small medium businesses and I'll tell you why first of all most of the market share are small medium businesses so there are many of them out there okay like dozens of thousands of businesses here only in the Czech Republic as far as I know okay so most of the clients out there are small medium businesses many many work for all of us here in the room okay so while you, you choose the size of your client you should consider the the, the, the the those things first of all SMBs as I mentioned before a lot of them out there and they have sufficient budget to work with okay usually the budget are not going out of the pocket on the expense of the grocery store which means they're not so tight they can give you the enough budget to generate results okay generate leads generate uh, sales and income and they can see the return on investment okay because they have sufficient budget and it's much much easier to get the decision maker I'm talking about the sale selling your service your service point of view it's much much easier to sell your service to small medium businesses and you can manage a lot of them at the same time okay it's not there's not just such, such a big difference between running a campaign which is budget with a hundred dollars budget a month or five hundred dollars budget a month right so we can manage a lot of them now things to consider when you were working with other businesses such as corporation with corporation usually the competition is fierce and they looking to work with the big uh, advertising firm advertising agencies 
and the search engine is just another service that they want to work with the same company. Okay, so it's it's uh, it will be much harder to to gain them as clients. Okay, the selling cycle is much much longer. Okay, there's a lot of red tape, a lot of bureaucracy, bureaucracy. Okay, and of course it's much much harder to get the decision maker when we're talking about big corporations. And as I mentioned before, the, the, the competition is very strong. Many of them work with uh, advertising agencies, even, uh, even abroad. Okay, so you have to consider that. Now, micro businesses. That's uh, a little bit tricky. On the, other, on the one hand, it's very easy to gain them as new clients, okay? It's a one-man show usually. You can speak directly to the, to the advertiser, but the business is very small, okay? Usually they don't have enough resources to invest enough to generate results, okay? They will be very tight on the money and they won't give you enough space to, uh, for trial and error and you will have to generate results immediately and they are very not stable, okay? And one more thing, they consume, from our experience, they consume a lot of time. You have to put a lot of effort to give them, to give them good service. Sometimes more effort than running a, a campaign for a much, much bigger business. So I'm not saying don't work with micro businesses at all, but you have to uh, know the client. You have to think before you start working, what, what's going to happen with that client? Does he have enough money in the future? Does he have, uh, does his perspective is, is annually, have an annual budget, and he knows that there is a learning curve, okay? Edwards is the best advertising platform, but it's not magic, okay? You have to do tests, you have to test keywords and, and, and uh, ad phrases, ad versions and stuff, landing pages also as well. So you have, uh, you got to have this space for the learning curve, okay? And usually from our experience, micro businesses doesn't have that uh, budget, okay? So consider that. <coughs> Let's talk about our, uh, our uh, services that we offer, okay? In general, we offer three types of services. The first one is full AdWords management service and uh, we start always with charging uh, a set of fee. And why we charge a set of fee? Because there is a lot of work, a lot of effort we put before we start advertising our, our client. Uh, we, we meet the client several times, okay? We spend a lot of marketing analyzing and uh, we look at the, at the competition, we prepare a work plan, we uh, make a thorough, uh, thorough uh, keyword uh, research, and we create a concept. We, we create a unique selling point. We don't just go online, go on the AdWords interface and build a campaign. We put a lot of thinking and work before we start advertising, because as you probably know, all over the world the competition is getting stronger and stronger and the differentiation for your advertiser is very important. So that all those services is a lot of work and it's worth money. Don't be shy and explain why you charge a, a set of fee. So that's the set of fee for, the, for before we start working, before we start, start advertising the campaign. And for the maintenance fee, for the maintenance fee, fee, we charge, first of all, we charge a minimum, as you can see in the first line, we charge a minimum uh, maintenance fee. By the way, the figures that you see are our figures. Please mind that the numbers in Israel, the cost of living and the cost of labor is different. I think it's a little bit more expensive. You might adjust the numbers you know your business is better, but in general I wanted to get the idea. There's always a minimum fee. I'm, I'm sure that you don't want to charge 
20% for a $100 uh, budget, monthly budget. So we suggest to uh, always uh, charge a minimum fee. And as the, the budget, the monthly budget goes higher, uh, the percentage is getting lower. Okay, obviously. Now, uh, I'm getting, we're getting uh, many questions about uh, selling clicks. Okay, so uh, as you can see on that, that table, we don't sell clicks because there is a uh, there is a problem with selling clicks. That I think for the long term, it's most of the time a lose lose situation because. When I sell clicks, I uh, sell, set with the client a fixed price for a six month or 12 month. And then my only job is to make sure that I get the, the cheapest clicks because that's the only way for me to, to make money, right? But for the long run, how, what about uh, the, the quality score? What about the cost per lead? What about cost per acquisition? Or, or, or the bottom line, what about the return on investment? Okay, and when I sell clicks, it's very, very hard for me to make money at the same time and generate good return on investment for my clients. So, from our experience, <clears throat> I know we know a few agencies in Israel, and they have a lot of they they sell uh, uh, clicks, okay, and they make money only from click arbitrage, and it's very hard for them to uh, to gain new clients for the long run, okay. Most of their clients, as far as I know, uh, after talking with many of them, most of the clients stop working with them after the first period of six months or 12 months, okay? Because they just don't get results. And the only way to gain uh, clients for the long run is to gener generate results for them, okay? <clears throat> uh, the other service is creative. creative for banners, as the stuff mentioned before, banners for a GDA and Google Display Network campaign, okay? For advertisers that want to want to get the eyeballs, want their the brand to get to be more familiar. Okay, they want people to see the brand or their product or service is not familiar yet and is not searched on the search network yet. So banners is a great thing for them. We build a lot, a lot of landing pages. I think around 15 uh, every month. We build a lot of landing pages. I think more, more than 80% of our new campaigns that we uh, launch are with uh, landing pages. We don't deliver the traffic to the website. Because website, as we know them, are not built for generating leads or conversions. So that's why we build a specific landing pages and they generate much, much, much better uh, results. And of course, it generates uh, addition stream, additional stream of, of uh, income for us, so, which is always uh, uh, better. And uh, sometimes, depends on the product, you use uh, a thank you page with coupon and all other creative uh, ideas. It's, we also uh, charge for that. And if it's a, a business that the, this, the user have to see something, okay? So we also use uh, flash galleries. Of course, the landing page is all, always HTML, so the, the system, the Google AdWords could screen and see that the keywords are on the landing pages, okay? So don't build flash, whole 100% flash landing pages, okay? But if you, if you will have enough time, we'll show you a few uh, examples. <coughs> Okay, consultation. Consultation, by the way, that it's, we love to offer consultation in two uh, different cases. The first case is to offer consultation services for those small micro businesses I mentioned before. Okay? I can sit with them and teach them and guide them how to do that by themselves because maybe their budget is too low. But it's a, it's a nice stream of income. If you have a few spare hours in your week, in your month, you can translate those to a really, really nice stream of income. And another way, an, an, another uh, thing that we use the consultation is for clients 
that they don't want to uh, to, to, uh, to use my whole AdWords full service. They want to just to test it uh, at the beginning. Maybe they think they want to do it by themselves, or they want to learn more about it, so I can start with consultation service. Okay. Many of our clients that we run the campaign on, a, on a, the user full service started with just a package of a few hours of a consultation. Okay, that's our pricing for a consultation. It looks expensive for you. Who thinks it's expensive? Only you? Come on. Who thinks it's expensive? Like 100 euros per hour. Let me ask you one thing. Do you have lawyers in Czech Republic? Are there any lawyers in the room? So I can say everything I want about lawyers? How much does a lawyer charge for an hour in the Czech Republic? How much? 100. Euros? Okay. Now think about it. Oh, you, you also raised your hand before. Now think about it. When you come to a lawyer, you sit on a chair, usually he writes a letter or something, he helps you solve a one-time problem, right? And he charge 100 euros per hour. Now think about it. Your service is much more important for the business, right? You help your clients to expand the business. Think about how much knowledge you have. I mean, your clients are ignorant regarding to online marketing, right? Think about how, how many things, things you know. You know to build websites. You know AdWords. You know what quality score is. You know SEO. You know many, many things that much more important for a client than a service that he can get from a lawyer or an accountant or interior designer or anything else. So don't be shy, okay? Explain why you charge and of course it doesn't have to be 100 euros but it could be, it should be a price that worth for you, okay, to offer th that service. So you have to make money, obviously you have to, it has to be profit profitable for you and it, it's a great way to gain new clients. Okay, it's easier to sell a two-hour consultation rather than a, a full AdWords uh, management service. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's talk about how to sell. By the way, you have questions so far? Okay, not all of, all of you at the same time. Okay, let's talk about selling your uh, services. How can you attract new clients? First of all, you can search your clients. You know, you heard about Google? You can search new clients on Google. You can go to uh, online business indexes. You have, you have yellow pages. You have yellow pages in Czech Republic. So you can just look on those indexes who, who is advertising there and is not on Google AdWords yet. I'm sure that there are many, many businesses that don't advertise on Google AdWords. And that's why you are here today. Okay, so <coughs> you can search. And by the way, you're not limited only to the Czech Republic. Does anyone here in that room have clients in other countries rather than Czech Republic? Okay, not so many. Okay, how, how many of you speak other language than Czech? How many of you? Okay, most of you. How many of you have a computer with online connection. <laughs> Great, congratulations, you can work with clients in other countries, okay? Be creative, you can offer your services for businesses in other countries that want to advertise in Czech Republic or Slovakia, you're from Slovakia, right? Okay, so be creative and don't be shy and don't limit yourself only to the Czech Republic. We ourselves have a few clients uh, abroad, we started with Israeli clients that live in other sta other countries, and they brought other clients uh, that are not Israeli. We advertise on Portuguese, we advertise in Russian, we advertise in English, of course, and in many many countries. So keep that in mind. <coughs> okay, you call the, you call the client, you set up a, you set up a meeting. What do you do next? Okay, you offer your services. 
But before you go to meet the client, very, very important to do your homework, okay? Go to the client's website. Learn everything you can about the client. Spend time on it, okay? Don't just run from meeting to meeting to meeting, okay? Because it will be very, very hard to, uh, to close the deals, okay? And don't forget that you yourself have competition and you have to show that you're a real professional, okay? And when you sit with a client and he will know that you put effort, you learn his business, you know the vertical, you know the services, and uh, you know before you met him what's his activity online, you checked on Google, you see if he advertises on Google AdWords, you, you see his SEO position, you see, you check if he have a Facebook page, you, you have to know all his online activity before you meet him. And you have to know his competition. Believe me, clients, adver potential advertiser, love to talk about their competition, okay? It's very interest interesting for them, okay? So learn the competition, okay? If he's not sure, the advertiser is not sure that he wants to advertise on Google yet, okay? It's enough to mention two, three competition that he hate so much, and you tell them, you tell them, they advertise in Google AdWords, so wh what's up with you, man? How come you don't advertise in Google yet? Where are you? Wake up, man. Okay, so become, uh, uh, do your homework, and show your client that you know what he needs, you know his services, and before you start spilling out everything you know about online marketing, it's a very common mistake many salespeople do. They come to a meeting and talk. Talk, 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 talk. You know that? Okay, so you don't talk a lot, so I'm not sure that's your, your problem. But uh, listen to your client. Okay, let him talk first. Let him talk and you will gain information, very important information about what he needs, what he wants, what motivates him. Okay, many clients out there, and every one of them have his own uh, needs, wants, and needs, okay? One client is very motivated by ego, okay? He will tell you, he will always talk about the competition, and he will tell you all the time that he wants his ad on Google to appear above his competitor, okay? So that's information that's very useful for you, okay? Because you can talk with him, about that, about how can you put his ad above the competitor. I'm not sure it's always right professionally, okay, about quality score and stuff and ad position, but you have to, you want to know that, okay? Or other client, he's only interested about getting as much leads with uh, uh, the most quality leads and the most quantity, uh, as many as he can, for every dollar or euro he spent on his advertising uh, campaign. So you want to know as much from the client and then offer the services or put uh, 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 emphasize uh, of, on about what he's saying to you. Um, so we talked about the needs and he will, he will uh, by himself, help you find the opportunities for him. Make a keyword research before you meet him, of course. Okay, go on Google Keyword Tool, okay, and make a screenshot of the most common keyword. Okay, before you meet him, if you'll tell him, listen, you sell business loans, okay, there are 24,000 searches for that term, only in the Czech Republic, the cost per click, the average cost per click is uh, one and a half euros, and etc., etc., etc. If you do all that research and you show him some additional tools like Google Insights, so you know what's Google Insights? Okay? Use it. Okay? Make a screenshot. Okay? Show him the graph. It's so impressive. It will make you so, so, so uh, different than all the other agencies that you're gonna meet before or after you. He will remember you because 
you are the professional. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, you know the Google Agency Toolkit? Do, do you have that in check? Okay, it's in English. Okay, most of you raised your hand before, right? So we can go to Google Agency Toolkit. I don't want to, don't want to elaborate too much about it now, but it's a great tool. Go and see what's uh, there for you. <clears throat> Let's talk about upsells. Upselling for existing clients. Many, many uh, very important and very effective uh, channels, products on Google AdWords to work with, uh, with existing clients or, of course, new clients, okay? Such as the Google Display Network, banners, also for the Google Display Network. Remarketing, mobile, let's, let's talk about a little bit about each one of them. Okay, the Google Display Network, as I mentioned before, is great for, for, uh, um, for like a mature <coughs> advertiser, they, they want additional source of tra uh, traffic, additional leads, or advertiser that want to be seen, okay? You can offer them, of course, banners, and, the, and uh, work on the Google Display Network. Of course, banners is a great way to generate an, an additional stream of income for you. It's great for uh, uh, advertisers that uh, have specific sales or products re and, uh, re um, relevant for a different period of the, of the year, such as the holiday season, Christmas, and, uh, and so on. Remarketing. Does anybody here know what's uh, remarketing? You heard about remarketing? So please read about it online, about Google AdWords remarketing. Remarketing, in the short explanation, it's, uh, it's a way to show my ads, show the ads of your advertiser to users that visited the website but they didn't make a conversion, okay? So we can, by uh, putting a, a tracking code on the advertiser's website, it's very simple, you can uh, uh, remarket the product of your advertiser to the same users that already visited the website, which is very, very effective. All of our remarketing campaign are very effective. The leads are very cheap relative relatively to the uh, search, uh, regular search campaign. Mobile advertising. Mobile advertising is, the revolution is just happening right now. Okay, we can see the, the amount of traffic rising every month and you can use uh, um, cost per click. Uh, I'm sorry, click to call. You can use click to call and it generates uh, very, very effective and very cheap leads, okay, or conversion for your uh, advertiser. So I think in the last year, every campaign we started included a mobile uh, campaign as well. And of course, for the mobile campaign, we offer a, a mobile uh, landing page, okay? So we offer mobile landing page and we usually change the, those pages Every few months, uh, those pages are uh, built for smartphones, okay? So, uh, they're very effective, and uh, advertiser, advertiser love to hear about the mobile. Their awareness about the mobile revolution is very high, and uh, it works very well. I think I've done so far. So, really, guys, if you have questions, uh, so, uh, you can ask them right now, Asaf and I can answer. And if you're a bit shy, we heard that the Czech people are a bit shy. So, uh, Asaf and I will stay here for the whole day and you can uh, uh, approach us at the, all the, uh, uh, the breaks. And after the day, we will still stay here until the evening. So, guys, any questions? One. Uh, one important thing that we usually do when we talk to, when we send our clients the invoices, I mean every month we need to send them, is it working? Yeah. When, when we send our clients the invoices every month, which is a painful thing for them, 
we usually add like an, like a special offer to for an upsell. For example, do you know the GoMo site? How to GoMo? Have you seen that? Okay, can I just log it? Sorry. There's a how to go. Mo. There are a bunch of sites that Google create and we usually use them and send them to our clients. Let's see if they have the, the video here. I'll go to YouTube, it will be easier. Whoops. Oh. And how to go more. Mobile, sorry. Advertising Edwards Go Mobile. I think it's this one. No. <laughs> Sorry. What? Yeah. The, yeah. The one that they say go to and find your professional and I, I show this video every time. This one, this one, this one? Okay. Sorry. It's a one minute video and I think it's Imagine a consumer. He's on his smartphone a lot these days. He's walking downtown when he whips out his phone to find a business. Yours. But when he taps your link, he gets a site that clearly wasn't designed for a mobile device. It's too hard to use, so he gives up. Or worse yet, goes to your competitor, who has already made a mobile-friendly site. You see, mobile users are looking for sites that work for them. And with mobile users growing by leaps and bounds, this means a lot of new opportunities to reach your customers. That's why we're introducing GOMO, the Google initiative to help businesses make mobile-friendly sites. Everything you need is available at howtogomo.com. Learn about how your customers use mobile and what they want from a mobile site. Discover our 10 best practices for mobile sites and how to incorporate them. Use our GOMO meter to test your site and get personalized recommendations. And connect with a mobile site developer who can help you build your site now Turn this to this. More clicks, more customers, more conversions. The future is in your hand. Visit GoMo today, mobilize your site, and move your business forward. So what we usually do is when we send invoices, we usually attach a video, whether it was made by Google or whether we make, we make some videos. We have our channel, WebSend channel, and Every month, you can see that we have... Sorry. By the way, we are about to reach 100,000 yeah, views, views. Uh, on all of our uh, uh, videos. So, as you can see here, we have about 50 videos in this section. With tips. With tips about campaigns on Google AdWords. Yeah, and each month when we send the invoice, we send a video as well, and we tell them, you know what remarketing is? You must do remarketing. Your mobile doesn't fit, your site, sorry, doesn't fit mobile devices, and mobile devices are getting much more percentage than computers these days or in the next year. So you must have a mobile site. And do you have banners? You must use banners. So we do upsell every month, and we tell them the benefits of these products, and Google has beautiful and really good products that they offer to st for clients and we just use these videos for upsells and it's working perfectly so I recommend all of you when you send an invoice you must give an added value for your customer as well and not only ask for his money. I want to show you a campaign, for example. It's a campaign for a, a tourist company in Israel. They sell flying tickets to uh, various desti destinations in the Far East. 
Thailand, China, India, and uh, Asaf will get into our uh, MCC. By the way, how many of you have MCC account? How many of you? How many? It's a nice number. How many of you? If you don't have MCC account, so that's a great time to uh, open a new one. How many of you are Google certified partners? That's, that's, that's fewer. Uh, nice tip, good tip. Do the exams, do the Google exams online and be certified. Put the logo of the Google certified partner on your website and on your business cards, okay? People react to that. Trust me, only doing that will be bringing new clients, okay? And as I can see, there are only few of you are certified. So get certified and people look for it and they appreciate it and they ask questions about it, what it means to be certified and you explain that you're a guru, a master, right? Okay? You have a stamp, okay? You're a master. So get certified. You can explain about the campaign. It's about a travel agency that offer flights and uh, vacation packages for the East, okay. for Thailand and stuff like that. Let's, let's see. That, that campaign is for Thailand. Flights for Thailand. Can you, can you show the conversions? Oh, okay, that, that's a landing page. That's one version for the landing page. It's not the advertiser's website. It's not the website. It's a, it's a landing page. It's with a, a new domain, new hosting, and there's a very short uh, text copyright uh, with good copywriting and a short form with just leave your phone uh, name and, and the phone number, or you can just call us directly. Now we have another campaign. C can you show just the, the, the Indian one? No, show me the last week, seven last seven days. Yeah, the conversion. Let's see. Let's see the cost per lead. But that's in shekels. Okay, in shekels, it's, it's, about, it's about $10 per lead, but, and it's a big but, not the but that you think. Uh, <laughs> uh, we don't count phone calls. And as far as we know, there are much more phone calls than people who leave their name and, and the phone number. So the actual cost per lead is around $5 per lead and the return on investment is, is great. Now, that's a, uh, we show you on the same account, another campaign. You have another, another campaign for the airlines? With the India. Oh, the India, okay. Okay, you see different landing page with photos of India, different text, of course, okay? So on that account, specific account, we run um, five, six campaigns with different version of the landing page for each campaign, okay? So the cost for duplicating the, uh, another version based on the, on the origin is, is pretty cheap. We charge around 80 to $100 just for additional version. That's another version for people who look for specific airlines, such as Royal Jordanian and Turkish Airlines and stuff. So we bring them to that specific landing page Okay, which also converts very well. Okay, so what so we also do is we offer them, you know, Google Website Optimizer. You know, that's a tool that enables you to compare two different landing pages and see which one of them works more or better. So that's another way of income for us because we tell them you need to have two landing pages and you need to pay for the Website Optimizer setup. I mean, we offer them as, ma as many features and many tools as we know and we always wait for new tools to arrive and Google releases new tools and new features almost every month. Some of them are small, some of them are more important, but we try to, to learn all of them and to, you know, you have the Google blog, AdWords blog, the official one, the updates with new, new, new details and new stuff. And you know the thing with Google Sites? You know that site? Google Think AdWords. That's uh, Think with Google? Yeah. Yeah. 
So you have plenty of resources and insights here as well. You can use them and send them to your clients. You will look, as Mickey said before, more professional if you send them statistics about mobile advertising reach. If you show them tools, they have really, there's a nice research tool that shows you how many uh, people saw specific channels on YouTube, how many comments they have on YouTube. And you really need to use those insights, research, and facts, and tools, and trends to, to just to show off for your clients. People like to see graphs, people like to see statistics, and you have the power to show them. I even read, I think two weeks ago, I won't search for it because I don't find here anything that I want, but two, two weeks ago I saw in the official Google AdWords form, uh, they published a statistical article about SEO versus AdWords. They emphasized how much important it is to continue advertising on Google AdWords, even for keywords that you are ranked first in the SEO. They show statistically why it's important. Even to advertise on the name of the brand. Yeah, I mean, many brands don't want to advertise on their own brand name because they say, I'm the first one anyway. And they show you on statistics and facts why it is important to do that. And Google actually give you tools to show for your clients. So use it and send it to your clients. And you can, what we do is we even translate, you know, we, we, we translate from the official Google AdWords blog and send this to our clients and they really like it because they know that we care for them and we also get money out of that as well. Yeah. We have, we have a few campaigns that we do A-B testing, use the website optimizer, Google's website optimizer. No, I mean, if you compare the landing page, the special landing page, and the regular website of the client... Only, the only if the client insists that he wants to use the website, so we tell them we pr it's better not to direct the clients to the website, but to do it for the landing page. But if he still insists, we tell them let's split. 50% will go here, 50% will go there, and after a month, he sees that the landing, the landing pages works much better than the website. Sorry? The results? Uh, the landing pages just go way better by far, I mean, by hundreds of percent. Hundreds of percent, yeah. yeah. Those kind of landing pages, in 99% of the case, are way more effective than websites. Okay? Yes. You've seen that the conversion rate in this page, and you have the, you have the phone number as well, as Mickey said before, but you have almost, than 10%, 9 almost 10 percent conversion. You, then, you don't get that with website. Websites, a good website has 3 percent conversion, 4 percent conversion. At the phone calls, and you will get 25, 30 percent conversion. You will never, never get those figures with websites. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. And we'll see out. We'll be outside. <laughs>